Hey everyone, Ghosh here, and we're gonna do something a little different today and go on our first hunt ever on the channel. So we're gonna hit up a couple of different places and see what we can find. Specifically, we've been seeing more and more products that include evolving skies, and I've been having more and more trouble finding 151. So I wanna do a little bit of a test to see, is it easier to find evolving skies now than it is 151? I don't know, but we're going to see. So let's hit up a couple places, see if we can find either one of the products, how much of each we find. And of course, we're going to rip it up a little later. But first, let's hit you with the intro. All right, so we've arrived at our first destination and it is target so before we go in little disclaimer uh, i am going to do a voiceover later in editing as you can tell i am a big new york sports fan living in new england so i don't want to draw any more attention to myself than i have to people already give me weird looks so we'll do the voiceovers after uh, while we're in there we'll see what we can find so first up let's get into target all right, so here we go in our first location. We are at Target. We do see the ETBs down at the bottom, but 55 bucks, again, not gonna happen. The new Temporal Forces booster bundle, see that? Uh, a lot of stock, a lot of ETBs, of course, Temporal Forces is big right now, but nothing I'm really seeing. Cool. Actually, I did want a binder for my Temporal Forces. I'll pick that up. Always look at the size of your targets too, at the kind of these little displays. A ton of extra items, ETBs, but nothing really I'm going to pick up here either. And then here we go, a whole mess of Temporal Forces, sleeved boosters, some three packs. Hmm, haven't seen those sticker collections from Paldea Faiths in a while. Still nothing here I'm going to pick up for now. All right, so unfortunately, that was a bust. We couldn't find anything. Uh, no 151, no Evolving Skies. We did see the 151 ETBs, but again, I'm not paying 55 bucks for those. So let's head on to our next stop. It is going to be a Walgreens. Uh, Walgreens is a little different of, of a place for cards, not one you would normally expect. It is more of a convenience pharmacy store. Uh, for those of you that don't have it, it's more like a Rite Aid or a CVS, those type of things. And they have kind of random products that tend to have different types of packs. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to see 151, but there's a good chance we'll see Evolving Skies. So let's uh, head on over there and see what we can find. All right, now we are at Walgreens. Uh, a couple of items here. I do see that Mimikyu Showcase Box and the tin. I know those have Evolving Skies, so let's get one of each. And there's our first score of the hunt. That is two products, two packs of Evolving Skies. It's not crazy, but it's a start. So now we're at our next location, hopefully the last, which is Walmart. Probably the most obvious to place to go for any hunt. But I do know that we're right after restock time, uh, the weekly restock date and time I am aware of here so we should have a lot to go through last week I did come here and recorded so we're gonna roll that video first I did strike out there there was nothing at all uh, but then we will go right into what we find today hopefully there is something um, because the given the time restraint this might be my last one so if we don't get anything we might be a very short opening but uh, let's go in check what they see and then we'll get into the opening so this was a week ago at Walmart. A bunch of ETBs. Of course, you can't see any 151. Ooh, yeah, I do see a Pokeball. Mini tins, though, are these what I'm looking for? C23. See, now this kind of confused me, and make sure you don't make the same problem. It's not C23, it's C22. And they look the same, too. As you can see, I started to pile on these. Thankfully, I did put them back. And then in the second week, here we go. We hit the jackpot today. We've got 151 Pokeballs. Anything good? E23, nope. And C23, no. Not Cosmic or Evolving Skies. I do know that this Evolution Tin has some Evolving Skies, so we'll pick that up. And, yeah, you know we're getting that 151. But let's check out these Mini Tins first. Is this the right one? There we go. C22. That's what we're looking for. So we'll be sure to pick a bunch of that up. 
Um, it says, just make sure. Yes, they're all C22. Perfect. And of course, you know we're going to snap all of these Alakazams. Hello everyone and welcome to another Less Than Gauche video. If you like Pokemon openings like this one and other gaming shenanigans, consider subscribing to the channel. Today we have completed our first hunt on the channel and it was a huge success. We've got a ton of different products and even some 151 that we'll be able to open today. I think it is safe to say that it is just as easy, if not easier, to find Evolving Skies out there now than it is even 151. We got four different products that have Evolving Skies, and if my math is correct, we should have eight packs total. But let's rip into all of it, see what the pack selection is, and get to the best part of any video, ripping some packs. As you can see, we've got quite the haul from both Walgreens and Walmart. We got four different types of products. We have the C22 Mini Tins, which has one Evolving Skies and one Fusion Strike. We have the Sylveon V, the Eevee Heroes tin, which I know should have at least one, if not two, packs of Evolving Skies. We have the three-pack Mimikyu tin, which has one Evolving Skies. And then the showcase as well. So Mimikyu coming, coming through big for us. But uh, through the magic of editing, we are going to blast through the opening. But I will be able to show you what comes in each product for you to keep an eye out if you are searching Revolving Skies yourself. So I was right on the money with my prediction. There are eight packs of Evolving Skies that came with all those products. Six Fusion Strike, two Silver Tempest, and two Brilliant Stars. So we'll be opening up everything but the Evolving Skies today. Of course, along with the 151. The reason is I have something special planned in a possible future video, but I will be leaving it up to you, the viewers, to decide. And here's a little sneak peek. Yes, it is 36 packs of Evolving Skies, a booster box worth. I don't know, I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'll put a poll up later in the week. Should I be crazy enough to open them all or just keep them for maybe a rainy day? But I'll leave it up to you for now though. We're gonna go right into the other loose packs that we got in all of those products. And we're gonna fly through them because we have also a lot of 151 coming up. So we'll start with Fusion Strike, see if we can get anything. Start off with a V, which is better than nothing when it comes to Fusion Strike, that is for sure. And uh, it was interesting because I didn't notice that was a white code card, so <laughs> I'm not sure if these... Yeah, there's another one. If it doesn't matter um, anymore with these reprints. Nothing there. But yeah, it was very interesting to see. I mean, we got really lucky with the 151. I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, I've been getting, as you saw from my other videos, from Amazon. So to see it restocked was fantastic. But if we didn't get that at Walmart, then we would have been all out of luck. And it looks like we might have something here. Uh, another V. But two hits from Fusion Strikes out of these packs. That's pretty interesting. That's not the norm. Yeah, this should goes to show that it is pretty easy to find Evolving Skies right now. It is jumping in price about 10 bucks a pack loose. And pretty much everything that you saw that I got here today was uh, $10 or less. The only thing that was a little more than that was the EV, uh, the EV Heroes 10, but then that had two Evolving Skies, so basically it more than made up the price. So pretty much anything where you find Evolving Skies inside the product is gonna either make up for the price itself or have it be more than what you paid for. So is it worth opening? I don't know, but we're probably gonna do it. And we're probably going to 
put meaning to the phrase evolving cries, but it could be fun. Again, let me know. If, of course, you have a sealed booster box of evolving skies, do, don't open it. Don't do it. Please, it is not worth it because the box itself sealed is now at about $700, which is insane for a set that's only three years old. Uh, the loose packs, it's still pricey, but it's about half of that. So, uh, Rapidash Hollow. For the content, I think it might be worth it for me. And I still really, really want to get that alt art Neuvern, like the Batman looking one, which again is cheap enough where you can just buy it. But it's right now my chase from the set. Hey, there's my favorite Lucario. That's a cool holo to get. But I had pulled and or purchased all of the EV Lucian alt arts. Uh, and I only have a couple more to grade, and I want to get them all graded and put them on a nice display. So, hey, Hound Doom, there we go. There is a Trainer Gallery card. I haven't seen one of those in a while. So, not the best out of those 10, but now we have 151 to, well, to further drown us in sorrow. All right, I don't think there's any need to have to open the Alakazam boxes. We got three of them, so that's 12 packs to fulfill our addiction to 151 you've been following the channel for more than a minute you know there's only four cards needed i'm not even gonna say their name today we're just gonna go right into it and hopefully get at least one of them starting off that's a good sign right yeah shiny water energy so let's see what we can do there were also a couple of zapdos boxes that i saw as well but uh you know i figured I'll get the three Alakazams, I'll leave the Zapdoses for someone else. It's been a while since we've seen it, so spread the love, right? Now, don't get me wrong, if it was something crazy, like let's see a Evolving Skies ETB or something more rare, I would have picked it, I would have copped them all. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But... 151 it's not impossible to find yet so hopefully someone else found zapdos a home and more than likely pulled the giovanni that i need so very very badly that's just the way it works right there we go maybe we shall see his face or any of the other three i already messed up by saying the name when i said i wouldn't and hey there's zapdos trolling us right there but yeah, how's everyone doing with their 151 search? Can you find it in stores? I know I did a video recently of the best places to find it online. Um, that was the first time in at least a month, if not more than a couple of months, where I was able to find it in stores. So I don't know if everyone's having that problem, but hopefully it's a good sign though. As we know, Japanese 151 booster boxes are going to be reprinted, sold on Pokemon Center Japan, and so hopefully that is some good sign for us here in the States and North America. Generally, we do follow how Japan does. Oh, yes, finally, Dragonair Illustration Rare. That is one of the four. Oof. And I mean, I need to let's let's first leave it up. Oh man, I've never been so happy to see a regular illustration rare. That is a beautiful card too. And we can now say we are only three away from mastering the set. I was not expecting that at all. I've gotten grown or used to the fact that we were stuck on four. Wow. All right. So now there's only three. There's that Giovanni. I'm going to say them all now because I guess it doesn't matter. Giovanni, Pikachu, and Jinx. Full art. Successful hunt. Successful opening already. And we still have six packs after this one to go. We are so close now. Now we can't, we can't stop at this point, right? 
we got to keep on going and get these final three cards, which is wonderful to be able to say now. Wow, we got Dragon Air. Crazy. And it's funny because I seems like that is not a tough one to pull. Like I was saying, like Giovanni, I can understand because that's a special illustration rare, but... And I guess the Pikachu has been tough to get too. Um, uh, or just kidding. <laughs> oh, right. And that's a double hit. Wow, guys. We're at... We're two. We're two left now. Yeah, we've been striking out for so long. That's actually a really awesome card too. That Blastoise in the back too. It is. Wow. Uh, well... <laughs> A little speechless right now. Pikachu and Dragonair. So now, I mean, who's next? Giovanni, I'm looking at you, buddy. Two more left. Yeah, we're definitely... We're definitely mastering this by pulling everything at this point now. We can't... Oh, Arbok, no one cares about you, buddy. We can't not do it now. Wow, that was... Uh, No, I don't think it was back-to-back, -back, but it's close enough. I was, I was almost thinking that and that'd be too wild if we got two in a row. In a way now, though. Now it's kind of a weird feeling. Like, once we master the set, do we not open 151 anymore? I don't... I can't imagine a world where we're not opening this set up. Pikachu and... Dragon it. I mean, the table. Just look at I just like seeing it like that. That's it's beautiful. All right, three more packs left. This video's probably going on way too long. I, Jesus. Sorry, guys, again. Like, I'm. <laughs> I don't even know what to think. There's, there he is. Haunting us. He's going to be the last one, I feel. I feel like it's going to be Giovanni. It's going to be the last one that we're going to be. Trying to get. He's been the bane of my existence. Oh, geez. Oh, rip PSA 10. Yeah, I feel like, and it would make sense too, because Jinx is just a full art, so that really shouldn't be that difficult to get. Uh, we do not need last pack magic whatsoever, but might as well. Throw it into the universe. Here we go. If we can get, crazy to say, one of the last two cards in the master set. Here we go. Like I said, successful hunt, successful opening. Anything else? No, but that is okay. We got two of the four in this opening with only 12 packs. Wow. Wow speechless guys this one's great there you have it everyone with that opening we are now only two cards away from the master set of 151 now it's just jinx full art and of course that giovanni special illustration rare i have a feeling he's going to be the last one for us to get but the hunt was successful the opening was successful let me know did you like the hunt did you like seeing that kind of uh, IRL vloggy type of experience. I always enjoyed watching them myself. Um, so let me know if you want to see more of that as well as keep an eye out for the poll on the Evolving Skies. 36 packs. Is that something you want to see opened? Or maybe at this point, a mass 151 opening again. We're so close. Might as well go for the gold. But let me know. And as always, please, if you like this video, give a thumbs up by smashing the like button. Drop a comment down below. I love hearing from you, and I do respond to everyone. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, everyone. Two away. Have a nice day. That rhymed. I didn't even mean it. One of these videos. Over here. Here. Been a while. Watch it.